Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about Boolean and character data type. In our last classes, we already discussed about integer and floating point data types. Please watch the classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, so Boolean data type is very, very simple to understand. Boolean data type is going to take only two values. It is going to take either true or false. But this data type, we are going to use it multiple times in during the coding. So Boolean A equal to true. That means A is a variable is of type Boolean. It is going to take either two values, either true or false. What we mentioned here, true. If you display A, it is going to display true value. So that is what Boolean data type means. Uh, coming to character data type, you have to understand, deeper understanding should be there in character data type. Uh, if we need to store a character in our in the random access memory, we will go with care data type. Uh, care x is equal to, we need to, uh, we need to store a character capital A, means uppercase A. This symbol, this character should be placed in single quotations. Then only the compiler is going to understand you are going to store a character capital A, means uppercase A. So this is the syntax we are going to use in a Java programming. The data type is char, variable name is x. x is going to store a value. What's that value it is going to store? Capital A. But, but remember in our last classes also we discussed that uh, computers cannot able to store decimal numbers or characters they can they are able to store only digital numbers ones and zeros but uh, this character we are not able to store this character a in the computer we need to convert this into some binary value means for each and every character present on our keyboard not only on keyboard, on keyboard we are having some symbols, some characters, what capital A, capital B, capital C, small a, small b like that, plus symbol, minus symbol, there are different symbols, Latin symbols, not only English, Latin, Greek, mathematic symbols. Each and every symbol should be assigned some unique decimal number. Means we need some standard. What's that standard Java is going to use? Java is going to use 16-bit Unicode character. That's why for char data type, Java is going to take two bytes. Two bytes means 16 bits. 16-bit Unicode character format it is going to be used in Java. Let's try to understand what 16-bit Unicode character. What are the symbols present in that 16-bit Unicode character? You type in uh, in the Google. You, you can type it as list of 16-bit Unicode characters. You are going to the first website is going to show all the symbols. See, these are this symbol and this is the unique value for that symbol. This symbol, this is the unique value for that symbol. Here the unique values are given in hexadecimal numbers. 4 hexadecimal numbers means 16 binary digits. The 16 binary digits are converted into 4 hexadecimal numbers. Our assumption is you already have some basic knowledge on the conversion of high uh, binary numbers hexa hexadecimal numbers. If you are not good at those uh, hexadecimal numbers and binary numbers, uh, please watch our uh, playlist Digital Logic Design first 25 videos. We already explained this point in our previous classes also. So please watch the classes and come back here. So coming to this, uh, let's try to understand few symbols. These are all the list of symbols available in our Unicode character. So not only these symbols, Latin symbols are there, Latin symbols, so many symbols. And coming to these are, see, Latin capital letter R. Similarly, A, capital A. What is the hexadecimal value 0041? So what's the binary, what's the decimal value for 0041? Let's try to understand with our, uh, in our example. If you take uh, capital A, 0041, this 0 hexadecimal 0 is converted into 4 bit binary number 0000. Second 0 is converted into 0000. Third 4 is converted into 0100. 
1 is converted into 0, 0, 0, 1. If you take this entire value, 16 bits, that's why uh, Unicode character, character data type is going to use 16 bits. So instead of A, it is going to store this binary number. What is the value of this binary number, which is 65? 1 is having 2 power 6 means 64, 2 power 0 means 1, 64 plus 1, which is 65. So instead of A, in our system, it is going to store the value 65. If you want to check whether it is using Unicode, 16 bit Unicode character format or not, you can use this code snippet to check whether it is going to store the 65 value or not. Yes, char x is equal to, we are storing A. Instead of A, what it is going to store? 65. So that's why int b is equal to this x is of type character. We are converting that into integer data type. In order to convert that, we are using int. So if you don't understand what's this type conversion, forget about the logic of type conversion here as of now. We are going to discuss type conversion in our next classes. Use this code. So b is going to store the value present in x which is system.out.println of b means you are going to display 65. You try this code, you, you place any symbol, you check the website, you check the website. So this is the, so check the list of all the symbols. You, you get any one symbol and place it in our uh, Java code and the same value you are going to get. Uh, this is 60, these are the list of 16 bit uh, Unicode character symbols. See Latin symbols, Euro symbol, F, all these symbols. So this is what character data type. Uh, so if, if you are not uh, able to understand it in one, one go, please watch this video again and again until you understand character data type because it is very, very important in the programming examples and placement tests. You are going to get multiple uh, pl placement questions on character data type. Hope you understand, hope you understand this boolean and character data type. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.